Hi, welcome to Lucid Food. Today I'll be showing you how to make rich and tasty grilled mushrooms. You can use any mushroom you want for this recipe, but I'll be working with maitake mushrooms, also known as hen of the woods. And these grill up tasty and rich. It's as satisfying as eating a piece of grilled steak when you make one of these. Here's what you'll need for today's recipe. One and a quarter cup olive oil, three fourths cup soy sauce, three scallions cleaned with the top third removed and set aside, five garlic cloves peeled and crushed, three tablespoons agave, five tablespoons white wine, salt and pepper, one one pound maitake mushroom. And I'm gonna cut this gently into pieces about one inch thick and I'm gonna make sure each slice is attached to this large bottom stem. Because if the stem isn't attached, the slice is gonna fall apart. Start this recipe the night before you wanna grill or in the morning on the day of, so the mushrooms have plenty of time to soak up the marinade. I've gotten all my marinade ingredients together. I'm just gonna start throwing them in the blender. Olive oil, got my soy sauce, scallions, garlic, it's already been crushed, peeled, agave, and white wine. Now I blend. There's my marinade. Now I'm gonna cover my mushrooms. I'm laying my mushroom slices out on this pan in a single layer, and I've lined this pan with parchment. I'm taking my marinade and I'm coating the mushrooms very generously with this marinade. Go in even a little bit more with the brush so it really sinks in. And now I turn them over and I'm doing the same thing on the other side. If you're not familiar with wild mushrooms, they can be really intimidating looking. But my takes are so fun and they're so good and really they're easy to work with. Now these are all coated, I'm gonna cover them and put them in the fridge. Here's a pan of mushrooms that have been marinating overnight. I drained the excess marinade out of the pan so the mushrooms aren't soggy as they go onto the grill. That's the nice searing sound that I want on my red hot grill. The cast iron grill pan is a great way to go if you don't have access to the outdoors. I'm gonna baste them with some marinade so they don't dry out and these will cook on the first side for about three minutes. I'm ready to flip. So this second side doesn't need quite as much time. The mushrooms are already almost cooked through. I do want to get some nice grill marks again, so I'm pressing down. And these look good. They're ready to come out of the pan. So I take them off the heat and set them aside. I finished grilling off my mushroom slices. Now I've heated up a saute pan. I'm going to take my extra marinade and make it into a reduction sauce. I'm gonna serve this reduction sauce over the finished dish. I want it to taste a little lighter and tangier than the marinade, so I'm gonna add a few more tablespoons of white wine. I let this boil for two or three minutes until it's reduced by half. Okay, my reduction looks nice and thick. It's coating the back of the spoon, so this can come off the heat. 